Good day fellow investors. I have started this channel four months ago and in the four months we have analyzed more than 20 stocks and the 20 stocks I think I said it was a good buy. In this video I want to recap the 20 stock buy recommendations, see what's going on, whether there are still a buy and I'll do that by quickly discussing the stock, seeing what's going on with the stock price and determining whether it's still a buy and what do I expect. So let's immediately start, I'll go chronologically. I hope you enjoyed the video, click like if you like the content, look forward to your comments, investing insights about the stocks, new info that I missed or similarly. All the links about the stocks, about the videos, the previous analysis are in the description below. So feel free to watch them and comment also on them as I see all the comments can I reply to those in the notifications. So let's go. The first stock I recommended on the channel was Nova Gold Resources. I said it was leveraged to gold prices long term. It was an acquisition target because of the huge growth potential. I suggested it to traders because it will be volatile in the short term but for the long term investment I said it was a buy and forget investment and you can buy it and wake up 10 years, 20 years later, extremely rich. What I always try to do is find investments that have huge upside potential, but with a margin of safety. The margin of safety means that I can't lose much. And you'll see this topic go through the whole 22 recommended stocks. I recommended the stocks in June and since then, it went up significantly, but had a bottom around the recommendation price and it's still there. So nothing happened yet. Still a good company, still a good buy. So if you're looking for a gold hedge play, look at Nova Gold Resources. Number two, Harmony Gold, June 16, recommended another long-term play, extremely leveraged to gold prices due to relatively high mining costs above $1,000 per ounce. And you can also see that the company went below the recommended price, then it went significantly up and now it's still there. So again, investors that bought then didn't lose much. So first look at low risk and then we look at the upside potential, which is huge with Harmony, especially if gold prices increase and when future copper projects come online. Watch the video for more info. My favorite stock was number three, Amira Nature Foods. I recommended it at 474, now it's six, six something. So it was a good recommendation. It went almost up to seven prior to earnings. However, I don't know what people expected. Those earnings are not expected to be the great earnings. The great earnings are expected those coming up at the end of November and if the increase in stock price is in expectation of those earnings it will be a great great play. There are a few videos if you're interested in the Indian Basmati rice trader that is growing at 50% per year, growing book value at 15% per year, having a price earnings ratio below 6, This is these are the videos to watch. Another copper miner, gold miner, turquoise hill, 100 year long term project. If you are really into stocks to buy and forget, you really need to buy turquoise because it has low cost, huge investments backed by Rio Tinto. And again, I think you can't lose. However, the stock price is already significantly up from the recommendation date. So significant increase in production of the Oyo Tolgoi project is expected only in three, four years. So perhaps there will be many more dips to buy. Another company that I recommended is Heim Celestial, the organic distributor and producer. I said that it's a better way to play the Amazon organics game because Heim is really involved with Whole Foods. It started to do deal with Amazon and it will really benefit. Somebody has to produce those organics products that Amazon is going to sell and disrupt the retail environment groceries. The stock price was very low when I recommended, really close to the bottom, so I was really spot on time there. And now it's a bit higher, but it's still a good stock. Nevertheless, I would prefer to buy it at 31 than at 40. My second favorite stock was Nevson Resources. In the last three months, it has been plagued by bad news. They shortened the life of mine in Ethiopia. They postponed the pre-feasibility study on their second project, TMOC, and look what happened to the stock price. It's just 15 cents below the price when I recommended it. Again, we focus on this channel on a margin of safety first, and then we look to the upside. The upside was significant to 2.75 prior to earnings, 
because everybody expected better earnings and the earnings were really terrible, terrible, terrible. Nevertheless, now we are still where we have been before. We'll see what the pre-feasibility study, so it's now a bet more on the development of the high-grade TMOC project in Serbia. If you're interested in a huge copper exposure about five years from now, then Nevson is really, really an interesting play. A dividend yielder, I was recommended this stock because Buffett was buying a company and the yield was 10%. So I said, if Buffett is buying and you want a 10% yield, as soon as Buffett buys into a company, the company becomes de-risked because there is a huge backing of capital. Since then, the stock price increased about 10-15%. There is the huge dividend they, the, that you get from this REIT. So really look into if you're into dividends. I think the yield is still very attractive. Now, a company that we discussed, ZTO Express, that is a parcel delivery company in China that has 70% of its business coming from Alibaba. And that's also the risk, unfortunately, for ZTO. Nevertheless, it's still growing and it could be really an interesting play. You have to see how the new Alibaba IPO delivery business could affect ZTO. Will it be complementary or competition? Nevertheless, the stock is really cheap. However, since recommended, it became even cheaper and is still a good investment. A very good investment that I recommended is YY, the Chinese social platform. It dropped due to a capital raise, however, it's still cheap and the growth offers really huge potential. Recommended it at 556, now it's 80. My target is to be at 200 if everything goes as planned in the next two, three years. The margin of safety in this company was the valuation price earnings ratio at, I don't know, was 10, below 15, definitely. So if you're looking for a growth company at a low price earnings ratio, then you have to look at YY. Number 10, I went to Brazil. I've thought that the growth in Brazil would be good and utilities are the best investment. I wasn't wrong, Copal increased, Copal, sorry, increased significantly, but nevertheless, it's still a good company to invest in. And if things improve in Brazil, even further, as they have been, do, have been improving lately, it will be a good investment for the years to come. And the dividend is very nice. Cemig, another Brazilian utility that I recommended. I said it's good, but much riskier than ELP because the higher depth and very diversified projects. So you can see the stock price didn't go far, but still it has a great asset base. It has a margin of safety, however, me personally, I would prefer buying it below $2 per share. So if there is a new crisis in Brazil, I'll definitely look into both Brazilian utilities. Now, this is a stock I didn't recommend. I said, Yirendai is a very growth peer-to-peer -peer lending platform in China that has huge potential, but I didn't like the subprime customers it has. And then therefore I said, okay, I don't want to invest in this company because the risk is too high. And you can see the stock price really increased since I discussed the stock. But that's, that's something you have to take if you're an investor. The risk is too high, you say no, and you say hasta la vista. If the price is now 44, if there are some trouble, some new regulations in China, it can quickly go down to 25 where it was the beginning of July. So... If you're like risky place, if you really want to buy a company that can double, triple, quadruple in the next few years, but can also have its value, then Irenda is a company to look at. But that depends on your portfolio risk appetite. A company that we discussed in relation to YY, another social platform, is Momo. And here the issue was that the valuation was high. The growth was much higher than YY, but the valuation was also three times as high. And you can see what happened. The company updated earnings and they didn't show growth in the number of paying users. The market didn't like that. As soon as a growth company with a high valuation stops growing on the watched metrics, the stock price collapses. If they can't show growth in paying users, they are doomed. Or they will see a valuation of 10 like YY has. So I said, I think also in the videos that I like why, why much more than Momo? I said LNG, the gas exporter, 
from Texas has said that it offers a 12% to 15% per year long-term return with high volatility in order to be traded. And that's exactly what happened. It was at 46 when we discussed it. It went almost to 40, now it's at 43. So you can really buy this company with the long-term LNG idea in mind. And I have analyzed that and the link is also in the description below as it is for every stock that we discuss here. So you can really find a good long-term buy and forget investments. Or if you prefer, you can buy on the dips because it's very, very volatile. It's a huge long-term project, but it's volatile according to temporary gas prices. That is an excellent idea to trade on. Number 15, Norris, Norris Nickel. I saw that nickel prices are going up, palladium prices have been going up, copper prices have been going up, and that wasn't recognized in the stock. The stock is a bit higher, they confirmed guidance, they paid the dividend in the meantime, so the assets are hugely valuable, the margin of safety is huge, the upside is huge. I expect this stock to be at 30 if the econo economic environment we are enjoying now continues. Whirlpool, stock to buy for the long term, as the middle class in the world expands, they will be buying much more kitchen appliances and all those household goods, so you can expect the Whirlpool to benefit. I recommended it because it was cheap after earnings, however it went even cheaper and now it's recovered. But it's still there where the price is recommended, so always look at the margin of safety. The margin of safety and the book value isn't there by Whirlpool, but it's an interesting stock. A stock that I really really like is Skechers. I recommended it as a long-term buy because Skechers' is growth in Asia is huge. There, everybody's focused on the US retail environment which is not that good but Skechers is doing well in the US, stable, but it's growing extremely fast in Asia and that's what Wall Street analysts don't see. As soon as it hits 22-20 I'm back in Skechers, as I did already once back prior. At 30, 28 it was a good investment, now it's becoming a great investment. So we'll follow this company closer as soon as it gets to a point where there is a margin of safety, they have huge amounts of cash on the balance sheet, very very interesting stock. Starbucks, the brand name, the growth, expansion again, China, Asia, forget about what's going on in the US, it's still important, but look at where will this company be 10 years from now. And when it's cheap, it's time to buy it, as it has been the case in the last few years. Recommended it at 54, now it's still there, so still very interesting stock. Hot Bay Minerals, they made a capital raise, so they think their stock price is overpriced. I recommended it, analyzed that this was fairly valued, but it has high potential if copper prices increase. As I said, all links are in the description below. And the stock fell after the capital raise, but it's still there where I said that it was a good buy. I think it could go lower, it could go, e go even to five to four if copper prices retreat, and then it would be an amazing buy. So look at Hot Bay. The free stocks to buy September video was, the first one was Nike because I thought it was really cheap. It's still as cheap, the story stays, the brand is there, the company is growing, exploding all over the world and it will grow in the next 5-10 years definitely, even with the competition from Adidas because the market is growing, the world is growing, so really company to buy and forget. Qualcomm, the 5G theory, stock is still a buy, okay it has been three weeks since the recommendation, so it was even cheaper, so you can really watch this company for the dips, the technology it has, the autonomous drive technology, car technology, everything will go about data in the next 5-10 years. So Qualcomm is really a play to take advantage of that. And it's time, the time to buy is now when it's cheap, not when it's expensive. Qualcomm is also owned by Seth Klarman because it has a margin of safety in the value, in the profit, in the dividends and so. Very interesting stuff. This is a cigar butt that I discussed. Recommended, yes, okay, I said it's cheap. It's even cheaper now. So if you like the cigar butt, Dallas, real estate play, really look at AHC Bella. And this is the recap of the 22 stocks we recommended. I hope you find something interesting for your portfolio. Those are all great stocks. Some are better, some are worse that we commented. However, I think in the long term, many of those stocks will be five baggers in the future.
So if you like the content, click like. If you really enjoy investing, discussing about investing, having a macroeconomic perspective, looking for low risk, high reward investments, consider subscribing. And I look forward to your comments, investing insights, some new stocks to analyze that are in line with what we recommend on this channel. Thank you for watching. I wish you a great life, low risk or no risk investments with high returns. And I'll see you in the next video.